<laughs> we're here. We've made it. Yes. I don't know even what episode we're on anymore. Is this episode five or six? What Something. are we? We've, yeah. All right. So, hey, everyone, we're glad you are with us. We're going to wait a minute as everyone gets on. In fact, do us a huge favor if you would as you're popping on with us. And we're going to start sharing too. Would you share? Share with us what's going on. Yes. All right. Where are all of our people at? All right. So, and today we're going to be talking about a couple of really great things. I'm going to go ahead and share. Are you jumping off for a second to go share? Nope. I don't, I don't know what. I was trying to look at the comments or whatever. It, He's pushing it buttons. It did something where I don't know how to He's do this. He's pushing buttons. It always gets in trouble. Yep. All right. Well, as always, I'm Terry Cuthbertson, and uh, I'm the nerd pastor collecting everything. Uh, everything nerdy. Everything nerd culture I'm about. Got a little nerd swag living that life. And then we have James. James, tell everyone what you're about. James Hostler. Uh Landscape designer, contractor, writer, creator of the Bobcat, set in 1898 Indian Territory. Native American protagonist. Yeah. And he's playing something on his phone. Sorry. I'm actually I'm sharing it to the page so people will get on. All right. So as you hop on, do us a favor and let us know where you are, um, where you're at, where you're where you're watching us from today. And today we're gonna do a uh, kind of fun, fun time. Normally we have, normally we have. Okay, follow me on this. Normally, we have all of our comic book stuff, uh, but today we're actually at Deadlift Collectibles, and so we're doing the whole thing here, and uh, we brought a few things. I forgot to bring all my comic books. I just brought the camera gear, so I dropped the ball, but but uh, let's go ahead and start out with your haul of the week. What do you have on you uh, this week? What's uh, your haul of the week? Well, this is, I guess this would be a highlight right here. Fantastic Four, uh, Neil Adams is uh, doing a handful of issues. I'm not sure how many exactly, but he's not just doing the cover, which he was known for years ago. A Neil Adams cover would sell all kinds of books, but you didn't know what you were going to get on the inside. He, he does all the art for it. And I got this book from Neil. And of course he signed it and he's got more available. And by the way, advertising for Neil, he'll be on pretty soon. It's seven o'clock on the East coast. So he does a uh, Facebook thing, but don't leave us. Just go see him later. The first 30 minutes is a preamble where he, he gives uh, anecdotes and things like that. Okay, but hold on a second. What is going on with the thing's face? Yeah, he's kind of looking uh, little... easy, Coco. Yeah. Calm down, Coco. Simeon. We, yeah. we love you. I don't know why he's, yeah. Uh, that's epic. All right. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, what else did you end up with today? Well, you got comic some other fun stuff. Yeah, comic book wise. Now we're going to show some of those phantom covers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and I've got a couple of them that I actually got in, and I didn't bring the, the book. But when we start to show that, uh, you know, we can talk about it. I'll say, yeah, I got this one. Sweet, I love we, it, man. We get to it. I, I love I, it. I've got some art, but I don't know if we want to talk about that right now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's look at the art. Okay, and then we'll go into the phantom because here's yeah, the thing yeah. about the phantom is crazy. When we get into it. Man, this guy's has been around forever, and yet nobody knows who it is. That's yeah. insane. What's yeah. going on with that? So, hey, it's funny. When we look at each other, because we're sitting right next to each other, like, watch, look at me now. <laughs> it works for me. Okay. Uh, it's like we're looking at each other in here, too. It works out perfectly. It's like the Brady Bunch, Yes, man. it's so great. Like a, All right. Here's a show, <laughs> show us what else you ended up with, my friend. All right. This is a conceptual sketch. I've got reflection on this and the light there. Of Frankenstein that Neil did. This is the original, uh, done on trash paper. They call it or sketch paper. Nice. And uh, I like it. I put it out there to try to see if any of my artist friends will bite on fleshing him out. <laughs> pun intended. Fleshing him out. And uh, and having a really cool background with something like a uh, a burning uh, windmill. That'd be Or cool. a crumbling castle. Yeah. You know, Etc. Yeah. And uh, so I'm hoping somebody will take will will bite. And uh, I just love this. It's one of a kind, of course. And he, I don't think there's anything published from this, which is another reason I wanted to get it. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. There's so my cool. COA, man. Nice. It's legit. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah. And one more from Neil. And what I love about this, I mean, I like the content. I like the subject. But this is has the irony of Adams does the Adams family. Nice. Yeah. So Neil Adams doing the Adams family. Of course, Adams family has two d's i think neil only has one all right there you go i like it i like it yeah i think you're right on that one really into i think you're right on that one i think you're right yeah that looks that looks amazing yeah yeah i love that very cool man very cool very cool well sweet i love it 
So let's do this. Let's get started. We're going to talk about the Phantom today. And uh, man, I'm blown away because you know you you started. We started picking. You started picking up a bunch of Phantom comics. Com- comic comics. <laughs> you started picking up a bunch of famic. What is? <laughs> you started picking up a bunch of comic books with the Phantom. And I thought, you know, I, I didn't know anything about him, so I just kept, you know, amusing you, like, yeah, yeah, that's great, that's great, yeah, cool, Phantom, cool. And for a cool. little bit there, you thought I was talking about the shadow. Yeah, like, and I had, oh, no, I did, the, that's the wrong I guy. did, yeah, I literally, I was all excited for a minute <laughs> when we started talking about doing the show because I, I, I have all the old radio shows from the shadow, so I have every one of the original radio shows from the shadow, and I thought I got them mixed up, and, and it's crazy because now that you look at them. Um, you have one wearing spandex with the domino eyes, the other one with a giant honker wearing uh, one of them old man hats and a in a scarf over his face. And, and a, he's, you know, he's the guy you don't want to. Anyways, I missed that. Uh, he just seems like the guy's like, hey, what <laughs> anyways, <laughs> no, 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 no. OK, Keep so the shadow. In so, the shadow. yes. <laughs> so anyways, but yeah, so I, I started doing a little research on the Phantom. And man, he's actually a really cool character. And. He's really unheard of, even though he's been around for 84 years. Yeah. It's been a comic book character for 84 years. In fact, what we're going to talk about is there's a lot of comic book tropes that are around because the Phantom did it first. And the Phantom was really the crossover that that really went from that, that time but right before comic books into comic books. Like he's a, Phantom starts before what? Superman? Batman? It's, it's amazing. 400 yeah. years of a legacy, right? Yeah. And the one, the current uh, phantom living right now in the book is number 22 or 23. Wow. Wow. Um, which, you know, in the long line of, uh, and I guess their name is Walker. Um, and the great, 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 great grandfather that began the line of the phantom, uh, pirates attacked their ship. A lot of you know this story, but. I'll give it to you anyway. Uh, the the hero, the original, was a just a teenager, and he was on a ship. Pirates attacked, killed everyone, um, including his father. And then he was able to escape the ship alive. And uh, one of the tribes, and I can't remember the name of the tribe right this second, uh, took him in and took care of him. And he began. He pledged uh, to not vengeance, but uh, to to uphold, you know, uh, truth, justice in the American way. I use Superman's. But, um, <laughs> anyway, and, and so that began, that legacy began with him and it ha- was handed on down. And of course, uh, the locals and, and others that see the Phantom in his costume, uh, you know, it appears he's been alive forever all this time and he can't be killed. And, you know, that's part of the, the mystique yeah. of the Phantom. That was yeah. actually one of the first questions I asked you because you you said he's been around four hundred years, right? And so it's not like it's not like he's immortal, and it's not that he's like a, a time he's not he's not, not like the doctor traveler. he's yeah. not the doctor he's not regenerating, um, but he has a legacy and he passes it on to each one of his boys, right? Each right. one of his 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 sons, the, the male heirs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay, how about this? Let's start with this. What are superhuman? What are, what what abilities does the Phantom have? Well, he's a crack shot. Okay. okay. So there's that. Uh, I don't know of anything like, I mean, he's, he's a, a wonderful athlete, of course. Yeah. In the, uh, the DC one from 89, yeah. something like that. Uh, he had been, his father sent him to the United States and he was a football star. Okay. Yeah. So he's, you know? he, he has, so, yeah, he has no abilities whatsoever, except that he, no I mean, superpowers, the, yeah. the biggest thing about the Phantom is he is cunning. He's going to use his wits uh, to try and trick people. So, you know, originally the first Phantom, uh, after his father is killed by pirates on a ship, he's the only survivor of the ship, and he's shipwrecked. And um, now there's because it's the origins have changed twice. He's shipped off to a. He, he actually ends up deserted on an on a like like. We, we, is it an African continent? It, it's both. It's an right. Asian continent, and then it becomes an African continent when they reboot it. Right. right so overall, right. it's an African continent, right? right? Right. And and there's two warring tribes, and he's taken in by. The uh the 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 the, the banana, it starts with a B. I can't. The ba- yeah. Anyways, he's taken in by that the, the yeah. one of the African tri- one of the tribes one of the tribes takes him in, 
And and the reason uh, that he actually takes on even the, uh, the the whole the image of the Phantom is because the the tribe that keeps opposing the tribe that's taking in him has an idol, and he realizes that he kind of looks like that idol. So he he makes a costume to make himself look more like that idol, which scares the like it's like I'm gonna call them the wasabi, but they start with a W, the bad guys, the bad tribe, and he scares them and actually causes them to uh, to quit fighting the uh, you know, the, the, the Banditis, the Banditis, uh, that Banditi tribe, I'm butchering that. So, so that's, that's kind of his origin story. Yeah. And then that's when he comes with this idea that he's going to become a phantom and, and carry on this legacy forever. And then he comes up with his motto, which is what, you know, his, his code for life, which is what? I don't know the exact code, but he does I mean, well, the, but he does the idea he behind take, it. He the doesn't idea, kill. He doesn't take a life. Yeah. yeah. But, but the idea is he's going to take on piracy and not let anyone ever right. be right. murdered or killed uphold, or stolen from uphold justice. And those who are oppressed. Yeah. And, yeah. but he, but yeah. his primary is he's against piracy. Right. So the majority right. of his run from the er, that fir, first 40 years of his life, it's, it's, I mean, it, we're talking like, uh, one one of the one of the phantoms isn't isn't he or the original guy is 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 connected to Christopher Columbus. That's how far back this story goes, it's right? It's way back. Yeah. 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 Four hundred so, years. Um, so you know, a lot of this is him taking on injustice, you know, anyone that would represent that piracy in his mind and uh fighting them. But yeah, he has a no kill tactic. So that was a first in comic book lore. One of the tropes that Batman lives by is right, he won't kill. I mean, how many superheroes have the no kill? You know that that tactic they're going to follow by, right? I know another. It's the Bobcat. He's <laughs> not going to do that. Not so a, not a purpose. And anymore. I think that's one of the reasons we wanted to talk about the Phantom is because he's so unheard of, and yet most of the comic tropes that that comp, that, that that the majority of DC, uh, Image, and um, well, all the major comic companies, anyone that has a character out has a trope that came from. The Phantom. The Phantom. Yeah. Yeah. Even the Domino Eyes. He, the the Phantom was the first one to do the Domino Eyes. It actually came from Greek sculpt, the Greek sculptures, you know, the, right. the, uh, because you know they don't have pupils, and and how that makes them look unreal, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, but you know, other other first is uh, like you said, the no kill code. He has a skull cave. Come on, skull um, cave. So Skeletor, right. that wasn't you. You're hey, not the OG on and, that one, baby. And check this out with the image <laughs> that you've got on the screen right now of the ring. Yeah, and he also has something going on like that with his belt. Yeah, now, do you see the in, the inspiration for another hugely famous? Oh yeah, yes. Who is it? I mean, it's it's uh, Green Lantern, right? The Punisher. Punisher. It is the, the Punisher. Punisher skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was thinking Phantom Ring. So way before. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, first he's the first superhero to wear tights and then put shorts over his tights. Yes, which everyone should be grateful for, <laughs> guys. If you're gonna wear tights, gentlemen, hear me on this. I'm trying to help you out here. If you're gonna wear tights, all right, grab yourself a good pair of basketball shorts, and uh, you know, do us all a favor. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's the first one to do that. We're men in tights. Yeah, so he's got um, tights. He's got the he's got the the shorts over him. And I want to talk about. And there's that. the Punisher belt right here. The, the story is that uh, I don't know, urban legend or fact or whatever, Superman's original costume when he began. Part of that was influenced his his pants and his shorts and all that stuff. Yeah, based on the Phantom. Yeah, Phantom had been around two, uh, at least two years. Yeah, beforehand, before Superman. So yeah. obviously, and that's the thing. Like you can't accuse Another the Phantom cover. of staring, stealing from anyone else. He is the OG. So anytime you find a trope that's related to the Phantom, you can just pretty much guarantee the Phantom was the first one to do it. That's right. So absolutely spot on. And we're we're running through a uh, kind of a gallery of. Really cool covers. That's one of the thing about yeah. I was gonna uh, about the Phantom. Tell me which ones to You've pull got up. all these different publishers. Yeah, but it seems to be very consistent. You get the what I think are the most classic, cool, mysterious, you know, intense covers are Phantom covers. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and like this one here, this kind of a noir, black and white shadow thing. Yeah, which is really nice. We're gonna show the my keep, favorites later. We keep showing we keep showing ones. the one ring. He has two rings. He has the good ring and the bad ring. Right. So the one with the skull. Is the bad ring and the good ring? I haven't found a picture. I meant to put a picture of this on there. Is there one with the good ring on there? You know, let me see. Yeah, here's sure. the good ring. It's not a good picture of it, but yep. anyways, yep. the good ring kind of has a like. It, it's his. It's his. It's the P. Um, He's, whoever he puts that mark on is under his protection. Yeah, forever. So, so that's yeah. a really cool ring. But the origin story behind 
I don't know if you know the origin story behind this ring right here. Let me zoom in on this. Uh, oh, wrong way. Here we go. The origin story behind this ring right here, okay? The original Phantom received this ring, okay? This ring is the bad ring. It's the mark he gives those who are marked for justice. It it was made according to, to uh, the author, the, the, the creator. His, his historical reference in this is it was created by Nero with oh. the nails okay. from the crucifix right. of Jesus. There you go. Whoa. So <laughs> yeah. So we're going. Yeah. So you yeah. get marked with that, man. That's uh. That's pretty cool. That's bad news. So yeah. um, I just thought that was kind of a cool origin story to go along with that ring. So oh yeah, here's the other ring on this one. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Um, you can kind of see it there. So it's the it's the P's that look. It, it's, it's the like, four P's yeah. that cross over. Right. And if you have that, you're able to even cross through that the the jungle in which you know his base is set up in. By right. The way. Right. So, same, all right, walk passage. me through some of these. Uh, you sent me all these covers. So, walk me yeah, through some of the Yeah, these are some really cool. And okay, now you're into the really. All right, start with bottom favorites. and work the way up. Uh, or top bottom. Top do you bottom. Want to yeah, you've been scrolling through them. Start here. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's start right there. Okay. This is one of my favorites. I'm not saying it's the best ever, but you know, you look at the use of color, shadows, uh, how they have the the cave, you know, kind of coming to life. This is Moonstone yeah, comics. Yeah. You have any Moonstone here, Michael? No, but that, you know, I, I picked up a couple of them okay. uh, because the covers are so cool and they did a, you know, their, their run of the Phantom. And I think it, it, it I haven't read every single one of them, but cover wise, uh, they're some of my favorites. Yeah, absolutely. So the two first in here are the, uh, well, of course it's the tights, the shorts, but the, you know, his dog devil is a wolf. That, right. And then, so first superhero to have a dog Phantom. Um, I think there's another famous, uh, hero. That has a uh, dog. Um, uh, it's Superman. It's Superman. It's super oh yeah, dog. Super Dog. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. And then the Skull Cave uh, is is another first. This is a great one. This is yeah. I don't know if this is number one or not. On my it's favorite two. number it's two. Right but yeah, it's up there. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. just saying. I don't. Yeah, know. this, it's might, this might be two. my absolute yeah. favorite. Gotcha. And again, it's a reference to the cave, but it also almost has like that kind of jack o' lantern look. Uh, so behind him. This was the one question I have because I haven't read the Phantom. I've only done a little research. I haven't got to read any stories yet. I will get into this now. Um, if he has a no kill policy, right? Why are you carrying guns? That's, yeah. Is it is it just to is it just to intimidate or is he just a crack shot? And he's he, a crack shot. So he won't shoot at a person, but he'll shoot at a rope, which will drop something on top of him. Um, you remember the the old westerns, the serial westerns, yeah, and, you know, yeah, Roy Rogers yeah. and all that. They'd have people standing all around him, and he bang, bang, and shoot the gun out of their hand. Okay, but never, no blood, <laughs> never any blood. I love it. I know? love it. Okay, and so I think the fandom kind of has that that vibe I, going. I had to know. He's I had so to good. know. Yeah, yeah, I had to know. Um, but again, no super, and he has no James Bond tools. Nothing. Nope. I mean, he, it's just gonna no be high tech wit, stuff. Yeah, uh, his rings and uh, and uh, you know those those donning that purple suit, man. Yeah, woo woo, old school cunning, just like yeah. you said. So yeah. now this one is really cool. I love the cat you know, pouncing from behind, uh, you know, it makes me think of, uh, with, maybe with some inspiration for, uh, for one of the Bobcat covers yeah, in the future, so cool. you know, yeah. maybe kind of homage this a little bit. Yeah. Uh, just, just really, uh, some of the best now, covers there this, are. This are, Moonstone, are this, this Moonstone run, is this the one where they're going and doing, uh, backstories and, and kind of filling in a lot of the history? Cause this one stays to the Phantom or to the, to the canon of, um, and his name slipped my mind. Is it, is it Larry Lee Falk? Lee Falk. Okay. Lee Falk. Is this one of those ones, or is this the, the the is this the run that happened after he died? Do you know that 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 Lee Falk actually for for from the time he started doing the Phantom up until literally on his deathbed, he told his wife what the stories he had been working on, how they were to end, so she could finish it for finish him. him out. Yeah. I mean, that's such yeah. dedication to this. He really loved this character. Right. These yeah, are both life's passion, and you can yeah. you can see it. You can tell. Well, you know what he really wanted to do is he was into theater and he was into acting, and he was going to do the Phantom just to pay for acting, <laughs> right? To support his career. Yeah, yeah. How how wild is that? And he created his own right. career. And I okay. love it. Look, this is got the rewind just in it too. a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. One of the reasons I got into the Phantom, started buying the books, and and really uh, drooling over these covers for seeing all this stuff. When I was a kid. We didn't have the Phantom in the newspaper, in okay. the Sunday paper, in the funnies in Oklahoma City. Okay, did you have it in New York? There, did you have the Phantom? You don't no, know. But I can yeah, so we would have to go if we were in Tulsa, or 
Texas, Dallas. Okay. You could pretty much, if you had a Sunday paper there, you could see the Phantom. All right. So I was, it was a real treat to be able to see the Phantom in that. It was just yeah. one of those little things. It was. Yeah, that's epic. Yeah. No. Yeah. So, so you, I love, this is why, this is why you have to be on with me every time because everything's history to me. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's history to me. And you're Back like, yeah, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, we had to go to Tulsa to get walk, it in the newspaper. We'd walk a mile just to get a no, but that's epic, man. That's epic. Magazine. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like I'll, I'll find a comic book that I love, man. I'm like, I found this guy. I rode, I rode and picked that up at 7 Eleven on my bike. You do that to me every time I find yeah. one. Like, I like, look what I just picked up, man. I, I picked that up on my bike when I was a kid from 7 Eleven. I was nine or 10. I was doing <laughs> you know the price on it when it says 15 cents? That's what That's I paid what I for. Paid. <laughs> yeah. And some, so, of them, some of them aren't worth much more than that today because I've read them so much. That's hilarious. That's <laughs> hilarious. I love this, man. So, yeah. Here, it, another great, this yeah. is the ring coming back. The one we, yeah, when we looked at already. So, and this isn't all the covers. I just kind of went through and selected some of the ones I yeah. thought were the absolute best. And uh, we'll talk about this too. Uh, a lot of these you're seeing the covers are an Australian edition okay australian version of the phantom and i have not read all of them but i i think they're true to the phantom story cool but cool. it's it's you know the australian take on it yeah the way they wow. see it the way they perceive it yeah the way you know he experiences uh all yeah. the the events and things that go on that's so cool and of course mandrake i did the, lee fall create him too yes I he believe, did yeah yeah he in created fact, mandrake that was yeah. the first that was the first character he created and had that's success right. on right and uh and then added in uh, the Phantom After, and they were big uh, Sunday comics. Yeah, uh, King feature yeah. syndicate, and that's the stories. cool thing about the Phantom is you know he's not beholden to any mm -hmm. of the big three, right? Mm -mm. So so there's license deals that anyone can make with them at any time that right. they want, right? And so that's that's kind of neat. That means that literally anyone, if they wanted to, could have a crossover with the Phantom oh, yeah. Yeah. if they're willing to do it. Right? However, yeah. However, you can procure that. But. And my guess is, and this is my guess on this: the reason we're not seeing a lot of crossovers happen with the Phantom. And, and because if you think about it, he's he's ageless. You can put him in almost any storyline, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Because it would be one of his sons from the past at any point. But there, here in the states, there's just not a lot of there's not a lot not a lot of people know the Phantom. And when they do talk about the Phantom, everyone I tell we're gonna do talk about the Phantom. Everyone this week I said we're gonna do the Phantom. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, Billy Zane. The movie, yeah, right. You're like, yeah, yeah. That's that's that is. Yes, yeah, that is. Uh, it's also a comic strip, and it's also a funny. You know, it's 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 all those things. So also the oldest uh, published superhero. Yeah, it's wild, man. It's yeah. wild. Yeah. So, anyways, um, so we're bringing this up too because I think I think it's time the Phantom gets some play again. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. It, it's time. Yeah, I'm, yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna take this off screen. I think it's time. So I would encourage people, especially right now, right now with the way things are going. Um, I still can't get some of the newer comic books I've been wanting, so I've been going to the back issues. Um, and, and maybe it's maybe this is just what we need to do is start finding the old stories that are good and get back into them. Um, and, 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 and the great thing about the Phantom is there's so much you can get into with them. There's so much you could run after with this. And so um, if you're going to run this path, um, if you want to be, if you want to start getting into a new story, the Phantom would be a great place to start at, right? Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. um, I just want to encourage people today. Uh, if you would, if you would, you know, um, do that, you know, Hey, 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 Leroy. So, but, um, yeah. So if you would, uh, take some time, get to your local comic book, dig through some boxes, find the Phantom. Um, and, and the other cool thing about the Phantom is if you can't find it in comic book format, all right, if you can't find it in comic book format. Get on the internet, and the original comics are available. Yep. You can get them in book formats. So there's been annuals mm -hmm. put together. So there's a lot of, of great the Sunday strips yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. just compiled. Oh, look what here just showed go. up! Yeah, here we go. Oh, these are gold, gold key. key. Yeah, I, I almost ordered one of those gold key phantoms, which you can get right here at Deadlift Comics. And maybe Edmund. not. <laughs> maybe not. They may be gone before you get here. Uh, that's oh, that's a great cover too. I love this cover. See. Look at that. Mike's just running it. Okay, well, well, I wonder what he was doing over there. This one now says $100. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the price. We're now going up on these. Yeah, these are yeah. Oh, this is like an origin story one. Yeah. This is And and you know the gold key covers it's it's uh like paintings, you know, it's art. Yeah, they're beautiful, art, man. Art. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Hey Mike, so, what 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 kind of, these are like these are in really good condition too. Yeah, they came from the original Elder collection. Nice. Wow. Yeah. 
Nice. Original owner collection here. And it's, wow, really nice stuff. So classic. These are the 12 centers. These are beautiful, man. And, and we talked about is, this. This is actually, I mean, this is this is his Look actual storylines and everything yeah, going along with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm yeah. holding it up this way so you guys are. This, it's just beautiful, man. These are beautiful. They are. I love awesome. this. I like, yeah. I like the orange Oh, this there. is. They went to Charlton after that. That's, wow. Yeah, that's right. Wow. So cool. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, here's my haul of the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <that's> my... <laughs> <laughs> just joking, Nina. My wife's like, no, no, she's texting right now. Don't you do it. <laughs> Don't you do it. There's a man. There's a mandrill on this one. You see him right there. Uh, there, there he is. See the mandrill behind him. Oh yeah. If they got the blue on the face. There. I got you. I got you. I got um, you. He's not just your regular baboon. <laughs> Okay. Um, anyway, uh, one thing we were talking about earlier before we started the show here and the crossovers and, and uh, you know, maybe you could find a way to uh, license the property uh, for crossovers. I, I was telling you the Phantom is the perfect crossover yeah. for the Bobcat. Yeah. Because, you know, he's been around for 400 years. Bobcat is in 1898. It's like, well, what superhero could possibly be with the Bobcat? Because he's in 1898. Well, yeah. the Phantom and doing the math on it in my head, I don't know if it's correct or not, but in 1898, I'm guessing it's the 19th Phantom, maybe the 18th. Wow. Yeah. You know? And and so it would be just a wildly killer story. Yeah. There's so many uh, so things. So if anyone knows anyone with some connections to help us make yeah. this happen, yeah, let's, yeah. let's have a Bobcat crossover. Come exactly. on, somebody. Yep. Or I guess, a, yeah, be the no Phantom would cross over. Phantom would cross over. Yeah, Bobcat. Yeah, right. So that'd be incredible, man. Yeah, I love it. I love it. All right. So we also, you know what? I I, I got to send something to myself real quick. So, um, you know what else we need to do is we need to talk Bobcat real quick. You've been going pretty strong. How's the? Uh, oh yeah. How's how's all the stuff going with Bobcat right now? It's going great. We've got a. Uh, Hold on one second. I think yeah. you need to hop into my screen. I need to hop into your screen. Yeah, because. Um, yours is delayed on this end. Oh, is it? And so when you talk, we'll put this right here. Look, no, that's not going to work either. So you just want to scoot over with me? Yeah. Join me in my window and we'll just, we'll go full screen on this one. I'll kick you off. Join me in my window. All right. There we are. All right. We'll go full screen for a minute. All right. Okay. So tell us some Bobcat information and why are you doing that? I'm going to quickly try to uh, find that image I sent you. Yeah. I'm going to send okay. that image. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got an Indiegogo campaign going. It's live right now. It's going to be live for a while. Um, we're adding stuff to it as far as perks. Um, not every day, but I just recently added, I've got some really cool die cut uh, Bobcat logo decals that look even better than this. Uh, and some neat coasters, you know, that had the Bobcat on there, the Bobcat logo. <laughs> neat. They're neat And Leroy coasters. backed. He backed. Yeah. Uh, hey, we appreciate it. And you've been a, a great promoter and Thanks, supporter man. of the Bobcat. You're epic. And we really, really appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, so we've got this going on still. The perks are there. Uh, we, we're doing add-ons with those items I was talking about, coasters and die-cut uh, decals. You can add to any level of perk that you – that you select. Um, we're going to be offering, and I'll be, I'll probably put it on the page this weekend, a uh, variant cover by a gentleman named Francesco Tomaselli. And he lives in Rome, Italy. Yeah. I, I, I know I for a fact, I know for a fact you've been practicing that for a while. Uh, uh, here, I'll do it. I'll do it more theatrical. Come on, do it. Francesco Tomaselli. So there you go. Yeah. That's epic. So anyway, yeah. And, and it's really cool. He has his own style and uh, it's a variant cover. We're going to reveal it in the next couple of days. Hopefully I'll have it on there before the not, weekend is out. Not right now. He just, well, there it is. I haven't put it on there yet. He just completed it. There, I have You want me to share it? No, go ahead. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's um, go. Yeah, Let's I was just go. saying. I, basically, what I meant was we'll re reveal it on. Yeah. Uh, the tell me if we don't have to. The Indiegogo. You say the word, and I won't do it. Yeah, yeah. No, you no, say, no. Do it. This is. Guys, hey, listen. this is an exclusive. This is a reason you've got to be watching these. these just casts. for you, Leroy. You guys will miss out. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, all right, here we go. Ta-da! There we go. See if that. Yeah. There it is. Now this one, you know, what's going to actually happen is. If you look right in the center of the Bobcat's chest, where his paw print is, there's a letter B there, which was there in the original 
takes on the Bobcat. We've changed it, but in some of the example art that I sent him, he saw that B and put it in. Anyway, I talked to him, and it, by the time we get it on the cover, uh, and before I, I list it and put the image on the Indiegogo campaign issue five page, yeah, uh, it won't be there. That's hilarious. So he's fixing man. that right now. And That's I, amazing. I guess you can see, notice in the background, you see those two circles. Uh, it looks Dr. like Shock. two different, yeah, it's Dr. Shock, and it's like, his, it looks like his eyes are glowing almost. Wow. He's got his spectacles on. Nice. And he's making a spectacle of himself. I love it. And uh, and then kind of on the left and the right, lower in the picture, you see those kind of energy spheres or orbs, which is very Kirby-esque. And uh, Francesco put a, a sample of that when he was giving me his uh, uh, initial sketches, his conceptuals. And when he finished, he didn't have them there. I said, hey, I liked what you had on there. He goes, dude, I'll, I'll do it. Nice. So we've got them on there. I think that adds a great finishing touch, yeah. especially since uh, Dr. Shock dabbles in electricity. That looks so, cool, man. Well, cool. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up, man. Uh, episode number five in the books. Yes. Thanks, Deadlift Comics. In fact, today is Friday, uh, sept uh, uh, 9 11, man. It's a line 9 11. 11. Yeah. Never forget. Yeah. yeah. And uh, tomorrow, uh, Deadlift has got new dollar books coming into stock so uh come come empty them out uh there may or may not be phantom books available if you want to get into that um <laughs> there's something going on tomorrow a specific you you put something on the comic yeah you said you new dollar books we're, we're just doing a general restock but okay general about, restock ten, fresh ten stuff boxes, about 10 new boxes of dollar books 10, ten new, new boxes of dollar books so, and a dollar book here is going to be a five to ten dollar book everywhere else. <laughs> I kid you not. Well, I've been in stock. So. It's 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been in stock. It could be a dollar or it could be twelve dollars. Right. And you go to the next one, it's a dollar again. So about every thousand books, <laughs> then you can find one that's a good deal on the sale day. And it's like, I made a killing on this one. It only took me seven hours. No, I'm just kidding. Ah. All right, guys. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for tuning in, hanging out with us. And uh, we just we appreciate everyone being on. If you're watching later on, uh, just comment below, are you now interested in the Phantom? Should we do a little more with it? Would it be cool to see a crossover happen? Give us your comments and thoughts, guys. What do you think about the Phantom? Have you already been collecting it? Have any of y'all end up with some cool stuff that's going on? Yeah, you know what? I forgot. It's in my stuff. It might be too late to show it. Uh, Neil did a commission someone asked for where the Phantom is standing over Batman. Nice. Okay, we'll we'll post yeah, that. We'll yeah, post yeah. that on. That's on a teaser because you're gonna you're gonna dig this when yeah, you see it. Take I've, a picture an and send it on Nerdswag, and yeah. we'll, we'll post it up there. Yeah. But let us know, man. Are y'all into it? Do you want to see more Phantom? Um, we're gonna deep dive into some other characters. This is the season, guys. This is the time. New books aren't really coming out that fast. Um, so why not get into some back issues and and start checking them out and. Uh, Come by Deadlift today. Uh, do us a giant favor too. Get on YouTube and follow uh, my Nerdswag TV. Subscribe. That'll help us out. When we have more subscriptions, we'll be able to do more things, including uh, go straight live on there. And uh, if you're on Twitch, thanks for watching today. We uh, It'll be on for a while and it'll come off. And then as always, thanks to all of our Facebook friends who are hanging out. Would you do us a favor? Like and share our stuff. Help us get going if you're liking what we're doing. Give us some suggestions. What are some other back issue characters that don't get a lot of play that need to be seen in this time, man? Uh, we'll go and do the research on it. Bring it here. And yes. uh, until then, man, we'll catch you all next time. Yes. I'm, I'm the Nerd Pastor, and this is? I'm James. All right. We'll see you later. See ya. Peace. Peace.